and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sultai Treachery in Historic. We're going to bring back this deck that we used to play before rotation. This is one of my favorite decks to play before rotation. Uh, we're going to bring it back updated here for the horse for the historic metagame. We don't really have too much stuff with Throne of Eldraine in the deck, even though um, you know there was Throne of Eldraine, um, you know that's released since then. But I was kind of going through, and there wasn't really cards that I that I wanted to add too much to this deck. Uh, this is it's a deck that is really built around Enter the Battlefield effects. Uh, creatures with Enter the Battlefield effects and finding them with Prime Speaker Vanifar, Neoform, as well, doubling those Enter the Battlefield effects with your Rock, um, and then also copying them with Spark Double, Mirror Image, and Quasi Duplicate. So the, the main thing, of course, is Risen Reef and getting Risen Reef in play, and then with our other um, Elementals to get a lot of lands. Of course, our Leaf can Druid it as well. Get a lot of lands in play. Um, and then with a lot of lands, we're, we're trying to play Agent of Treachery, steal their stuff. And, um, you know, we can copy Agent of Treachery or, you know, have your rock and play. We steal two things. But that's kind of like what our deck's doing here. We also have an Immortal Sun in the, I'm putting this in the main deck because of how popular Esper Control is. Um, yeah, I think this, this could just shut down Esper Control, like completely game one. I think there's a, there's a chance of that. So we got an Immortal Sun in here. Um, Muldratha. Allows us to replay all of our stuff from our graveyard you know, that, that we mill over with Cavalier Thorns and everything. It's a great late game card, and it's an elemental, so it triggers. Um, so it triggers Risen Reef, and we can find it with with uh, Vanifar. You know, like we can have Vanifar in play, and then play Cavalier Thorns, ramp with Cavalier, and then sack the Cavalier. Go, um, go find Muldratha. It's you know, it's pretty nice. I uh, got an exclusion mage to have a little bit earlier bounce because I'm worried about the aggro matchups. But yeah, we're going to have exclusion mage, chupacabra. Chupacabra is going to be a big part of our deck. You know, we got these three chupacabras in here. We're going to be trying to copy them against the aggro, aggro decks. Sideboard, we have a, a fourth chupacabra, plus we have a couple hostage takers also. Same kind of thing against those aggro decks. That's, that's really what I'll be relying on. Um, and then, of course, a, a bunch of legions ends also against aggro. Um, and then we got one historic anthology cards with with a fauna shaman, uh, where fauna shaman can discard, especially like discarding these mana creatures later on in the game. You know, like we draw land war off leafkin paradise druid. We got ten of them, so you know we draw them later on. We can discard them and go grab other things that we need. All right, so let's give this a try. Sultai treachery. We're gonna play some historic ranked. I am a little worried that we will be run over by Gruul decks. I'm a little worried, but we got a lot of mana creatures that we can go you know, early and then try to get some Chupacabras and you know, Cavalier Thorns and Yurok are good blockers. Okay, looks like a good hand. One second. Wild Growth Walker. Okay. Well, I'll just lead with the Llanowar Elf so that we can have Leafkin Druid after we play Risen Reef. Because, like, right now, so I could play, like, Risen Reef next turn and then play Leafkin and then Neoform the Leafkin into another Risen Reef. And that can get me a lot of land drops, hopefully. And then the following turn after that, I age in a Treachery and steal their Nissa. I am 
only well, that's not good. <sighs> Pity we couldn't have been allies. I guess they didn't have the fifth land for Nyssa. Um, I can block and still have seven mana next turn. I think my plan is hopefully they tick up their Vraska and then I steal Vraska and use it to kill Wild Growth Walker. It's still eight. Um. All right, bring those things in. Sure, what I want to take out. I kind of like having the one immortal sun. I guess it can get trophied though. All right, no, we won't play it. Exclusion mage is basically just good for wow growth walker, from what we've seen. That's still a good card against Wild Growth Walker. Okay. I'll take out Cavalier Thorns and a quasi duplicate. I'd like them not to kill my Risen Reef this time. Caught up in the Gruel Crossfire. Hmm.
Okay. So I want to get to Agent of Treachery as fast as possible. That's probably by going... Neoform this into Cavalier of Thorns, get an extra land, play Vanifar. Risen Reef. It's interesting. Hmm. We have so many options of like what to do <clears throat> with our turn. So many options. If I hostage taker the temple, I don't get to play the temple. But I get so I guess whenever the hostage taker leaves, they just get their temple back. Hmm. Oh, mirror image. We could make another Cavalier of Thorns. We could bounce the Temple of Malady. When we get to start going with Vanifar, we can do some crazy stuff. So the Muldratha is in my graveyard as far as like to to move Cavalier of Thorns up the tree. But that's actually not a problem because if we sack Cavalier of Thorns, we can put Muldratha back into the <clears throat> into the library. Behold, and then we put Muldratha back into play from that. Kind of be good to have to go grab your rock. Man, there's so many things I could do. We're at eight mana.
So that is like the regular Cavalier of Thorns? Okay. One, two, three, four. Does that work? Do I get to put that back? That's actually kind of cool. Okay, I don't actually really want to draw a Muldrata. I guess I'm drawing it. That's fine. I don't... I, I kind of want to get Chupacabra to kill this Field of Ruin. How many, how many cards do we have in, in Library? 26? That's a lot of cards. Oh, I don't have... What happened to my spark double? Did I sideboard out spark double? What's going on here? No spark doubles in there. I must have milled it over. Oh, it got it got exiled. That's right. I already used it. It got exiled. Yeah, I used it for as cavalier. Whoops. Yep, yep. I'm gonna play one of Mortal Zone again. I don't know. Does anybody know exactly what time Theros releases tomorrow? I would assume it's 8 a.m. Pacific. I think that's what it usually is. So that's that's my assumption is 8 a.m. Pacific. All right, we're on the draw. We're gonna hopefully draw lands. Good. But land of is pretty busted. We get to keep the one lander. So 
I can hostage take her their land war elf this next turn and and play the land war elf. Big. Really? Which makes it this. It's a jerk move. No land drop? Yeah, we're definitely taking land war elf. What you get for being a jerk? Mill me out. The next turn I can mirror image the hostage taker, steal the wild growth walker, and, and cast it. Behold. I lost my appetite. Could just take Ashiok. And save mirror image for Agent of Treachery. Well, that was kind of good and bad. You know, we got rid of the trophy on top, which is good, but the Fable Passage. I wanted them to draw Fable Passage, of course, with having Ashiok. How do we want to do this? So basically, your rock. I can go grab Risen Reef and then Mirror Image Risen Reef. Alright, I'm gonna hostage taker my hostage taker. And then I'm gonna sack the hostage taker. Because I think I want the real hostage taker in play. Not the fake one. And they can kill my hostage taker to get back their wild growth walker, but I don't think that that's the biggest problem. I think I'm okay with that. Hey, what's up, Sir Eccles? Our ninth sub of the day. Sweet, we were one away from a sub goal. Looks like I was behind. Keeping trophy. That was weird. <clears throat> All right, so I could double choop, double risen reef, or double agent of treachery. Do I not have the mana to play this? One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess I don't. I just have to, just have to make sure I don't mill out. So I gotta be worried about. Give me these. Sweet. All right. We're only drawing three card, three extra cards a turn though, because we just have the one agent of treachery.
Hey, Kinjin, GG's. Sorry about the mana that last game. But GG's. All right, Snake Spur. I'll see you tomorrow. If I was on the draw, I'd mulligan, but I don't know. This this hand has potential. We need to, you know, we need to draw land or mana creatures, which is a lot of the rest of the deck. Um, Thirty-two out of the fifty-three cards that we have left are either a land or a mana creature. So pretty good chance we draw a land or a mana creature. I mean, it's thirty-two out of fifty-three. It's over half. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not even touching the packs yet. They were supposed to not be able to be opened until tomorrow anyway. So I'm. I'm just waiting. I'm just not gonna try opening them yet. Land? No. We'll find finality in Ravenous Jubacabras. We're both bricks. Getting us a sub number 10. Getting us that sub goal. We're pretty close to a 12-hour stream now, which is awesome with the new set just coming out. Um, wish I had that quasi-duplicate last turn. So let's see let's see how close we are to this 12 hour stream let's update so you know every 10 subs is a sub goal and then every uh 20 sub goals where are we at Right there. So we're at 17 now. So we're only three sub goals away from a 12 hour stream. So probably like this weekend. Do a, a good new standard 12 hour stream. <laughs> yeah, Neoform. Neoform's not good here. Not good against counter spells. The, the cards that we are drawing are not cards that are good in this match. You know, we have like a Mortal Sun. Which can be good. But these are, you know, even like your rock. Uh, I guess find like much later on. But yeah, your rock, Chupacabra, Neoform. Like these are the cards that we want to sideboard out. I thought about putting some... Uh, what's it called? I thought of putting like a couple of Reclamation Sage in the sideboard, but ended up not, not, but I've played against this kind of deck like, you know, three or four times now where it's just straight up blue eye control that's just all counter magics and enchantment removal and planeswalkers. And in this kind of matchup, I know my responsibility. Um, yeah, Reclamation Sage would be great. You need to slow down.
Oh, that resolved quickly. Hmm. Maybe I could have landed the Immortal Sun. They'd still have, like, Ixalan's Binding, most likely. That's Hurry. probably their, their answer if I resolve it. I just wanted... Yeah, I just wanted to... I wanted to resolve. Maybe I should have just slammed it there. They're, they're not... Yeah, they're not black. This is just blue-white. So, yeah, no Thief of Sanity. Hey, Star Man. Good, e good evening. I'm doing good. Doing good. Let's skip to the good part. Yeah, I guess I probably should have just slammed Immortal Sun before. Yeah, they have Settle for sure. Yep. Yep, they definitely are just a bunch of Settles, Time Wipes, Seal Aways. You know, and then Insights and Teferis. That's basically about it. This is like the anti gruel deck. Unfortunately, I drew one of my two basics. I'm not even going to show Immortal Sun. This game is just really over. I'm not even going to show it. I don't want them to be able to sideboard against it. We have a lot of cards that don't do a ton for us. Like Vanifar is not very good here either. I have a lot of cards that aren't very good. I bring in other stuff besides Vanifar. No, I mean I think we just keep it. Vanifar can turn in Leaf can can turn Leaf can Druids into Risen Reefs, I guess. No, Hostage Taker is amazing. No, the Hostage Taker is a good card for us. It's we're not I don't care about like I don't care about Hostage Takering their cards. It's about Hostage Takering our cards. Hostage Taker is a really good card because man, double Vanifar. Because you get to play it and and take your own creature and protect your own creature and you can attack with hostage taker. Whenever they kill your hostage taker, you get your creature back. And so like yeah, it's it's a good card in these kind of matchups. But Choop I could play Choop, yeah, Choop for Lyra. Maybe I should be playing like Choop over over one of the Vanifars or something, um, or Leafkin Druid.
Yeah, Taker Taker's good against board wipes. And my opponent is presumably playing in board wipes. Boo. Well, I mean, they are. have one Risen Reef left. All right, I hope the Risen Reef hits a land. Darn. Yeah, I don't know why I had that Exclusion Mage. I could be playing Chupacabra instead of that Exclusion Mage. One card, one card away. Dropping another Risen Reef last turn. Um. Honestly, not not super excited, Sir Eccles. I don't know. Like it'll be fun. But I don't know. I guess maybe just because I've just had like the busy life and everything, I just really haven't been able to get super excited about Theros. But um, yeah, it's definitely going to be fun tomorrow. know how I'm supposed to win the game. how I don't have enchantment removal. I don't know how I actually win this game. No, Hawkeye has gotten worse today. I'm going to be calling the vet again tomorrow. Even though he just went in yesterday, he is not looking good. I'm super worried about him. That's probably one of the reasons I'm not as hyped for Arrows, probably. Right now, he's basically spent the whole stream just lying in the, lying in the closet, and he's never done that. It's like what what pets do when they're really sick. He's never done that before. So I haven't been attacking with the Risen Reef because of Seal Away.
Of course, I have this Castle Iron Veil over here, too. Nothing. a very tough matchup for me to win. I need to find Agent Treacheries. I need to take Blast Zone. And I need to find Immortal Sun. If I just have a mortal sun, they can blast on away the immortal sun. Yeah, I don't I don't know what to do. That's more like it. JJ, I don't know. I'm like I said, I'm gonna call the vet tomorrow. I think um I think he's probably gonna have to go back in and, and uh you know, go under and then they'll they'll take like his his blood and, and uh see like what's what's wrong with him really. But All the stuff, you know, it's been it's been probably like six six weeks, eight weeks that he's hasn't been well. All the stuff that we've done have, hasn't worked so far. I don't want to say seal away, honestly. Okay. Maybe not. Yeah, Cleansing Nova could protect Immortal Sun. Could have... I, I don't know if they'll have um, Ixalan's Binding. Like, that's what I kind of want to name is Ixalan's Binding. But I don't know how I actually ever attack and kill my opponent before I just mill out.
Do they have binding? So just have one Nova. I gotta take this blast zone. Interesting. They're just putting that on three? Not putting that on six? They want to trade their prison realm into fairy for my risen reefs? Interesting. Go down to two. I can make uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six blockers next turn. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, or so four, six, then so one, two, three, four, five, six. So six, and they have eight attackers. Yeah, we'll be fine. Hope they don't draw a sweeper, but why do they tap three green sources? Come on. Come on, auto tap. Be better than that. Give me that. Where's Agent of Treachery? Hmm. No Agent of Treachery. Hey, Soda. Yeah, protecting Muldratha. Um. I 
kind of want to kill this Teferi. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They have, they'll have seven. And obviously the Iraq has lifelink. I'm not dead if they have another prison realm for your rock. I go to one. I'm still not exactly sure how I'm going to do all the damage before I mill out. I'm just going to, like, I still just draw so many cards. Oh no! Am I dead to that? No, I'm not. Okay. I could have protected a little bit better. Against that, though. <laughs> okay, they gave it to me. I don't think they should have conceded. I was about to mill ten cards. I really don't think they should have conceded. Because, <clears throat> yeah, I was milling ten cards. Okay, so yeah, I do have finality that can they can be used as a sweeper. I thought I still had that as a sweeper. And then yeah, let's get a Legion's End in here too. Yeah, I am not. It's tough to prepare for both Gruel and uh, Blue Eye Control, but yeah, this deck is not really prepared for Blue Eye Control like this. This type with um, all these enchantments. I'm more prepared for Esper that just has regular removal that doesn't just exile all my stuff. Oh, I guess I just got an email saying your arena stats, but they only give you one stat. So since Throne of Eldraine's released, in total I have cast 65,607 spells. That's a lot. Sixty-five thousand six hundred and seven spells. Those are almost all on a stream. Since Throne of Eldraine release. Droth is a good card, but we don't need it for like a super long time. I think I'll just put it on the bottom.
We'll have Risen Reef with Negate next turn. Nope, just Risen Reef next turn. Hey, that's a card. No, there is a 0% chance Grey Merchant gets banned. No. 0% chance. It was an email that was sent where I got that information. They're like, check out your stats. And I was like, cool. I mean, all Agent Treachery can do is just steal one land right now. This is the problem with putting the one Legion's End in my deck, so we draw it. But then also, you know, like they had that Prison Realm for my Prison Reef, so the Sleafkin isn't doing anything. We don't have cards that are doing anything. They're going to just sit back and sculpt. GG's. Hey, Necrolepsy. We put up a fight. Need them to play like Big Teferi, and then I steal Big Teferi. I, mean, I guess I can sit back. Like I don't have much stuff in hand. If they if they don't have more lands, they're gonna have to go to discard pretty soon. No, they got more lands. Interesting. Oh, they're going to protect their Teferi.
Well, they didn't play a land last turn, so I don't... I'm really surprised they didn't just play the first Chemist's Insight main phase. And then play the land. They haven't had too many counters this game, but they they don't play a lot of counters. But they they just had one essence scatter, one dispute, but that's that's not really what their decks have mostly about. I mean they they do have counter spells, but it's not the main thing about what their the main thing of what their deck is about. I don't want to protect Cavalier Thorns from a Sweeper. I wouldn't mind Cavalier Thorns dying. I don't think protect. I don't think protecting Paradise Druids really that worth it either. They only got five cards over there. Dang. isn't a fight you can win. You know what? I'm not done yet. Well, hopefully we draw in a gate. If the Cavalier would have died, it would have got back in a gate. Being very patient. They're being very patient. So, of course, I want to take Ascanta. If I wait and let them flip Ascanta, then it's safer. Because, like, if I try to take Ascanta now, they can still get rid of it. I wish I, I wish I didn't attack with the Paradise Druid first. I wish I did this first.
I do have Field of Ruin to blow up as can't take any, even if I keep it and even if I flip it. You know, like even if I do keep it. <clears throat> I wish I didn't attack with the Paradise Druid. I wish I could have Hostage Taker to protect Agent of Treachery. But I kind of decided just to do this. After attacking. Alright, well that's fine. I guess we got Escanta out of here. Like that's exactly what I wanted to do. But now I didn't, didn't get to protect Agent. That's good. That shuffles up our library. Remember, we we um, we scryed that Moldratha down to the bottom earlier. We did scry some extra lands down to the bottom too, though. I'm at 31. They're at 28. We may win on time. Opponent's playing really slow. 610, counting down. I'll pay. I'll still pay. All right, so here's the thing about fine finality. It's good to like, you know, like getting using find and getting back two creatures is, is good. But they could just play a huge finale and I'll die. And so I do kind of have to protect against a huge finale. Because if it's 10 or more, then they get like the all the 2-2s two and all the 4-4s. Four so I Good game, like they can't handle a Risen Reef. They have a backup finale. They gotta kill me in the next four minutes and 40 seconds now. Yeah, Legion's End would not take out both the Angels and the Soldiers. Oh, 
Um. I think I was probably just going to name Finale again. I think we only saw one the first game, but I didn't know. I don't know what else to really name. Big Teferi is not going to kill me in time. You know, could name just like Lyra Dawnbringer, but we have Noctis Grasp. They have lost two Teferis. Yeah, they're at 3.54. I'm at 13 minutes. I'm good. It's just not... Grabbing a land is just not valuable at this point of the game. Cancer is going to be trouble. Yeah, this Canto was really, really good. Gonna speed up their ability to find a lot of threats. I, I have two removal spells. They did have another finale. Man, and so I was gonna ego I was gonna name finale for with ego. Man, so they had the, the counter spell for for my ego and then also the counter spell uh, for the agent of treachery for the Escanta. Dang, what a disappointing way to lose. Disappointing way to lose. Okay. 
Alright, so Paradise Druid will help us cast, you know, Risen Reef and everything. Hmm. It's kind of looking at his food now. But not really eating it. I feel like if I play Risen Reef, they're going to kill... What if I just play the Risen Reef, they're going to kill the Risen Reef with a... Um... With Omnath, then I'm going to be in trouble. I could, you know. Play the Leafkin and then Neoform the Leafkin into a, a, a Risen Reef. But I think it's better just to play this. I, mean, I need I need blue mana. That's where that's where my bottleneck is right now. No, four nine. I, I didn't. I didn't apply. Phoenix pillage. Lotus field. All right. Well, we're doing some crazy stuff over here. Blue mana. Blue mana. Yeah. Alright. Trying to just get lots of mana out here. Anything that creates treasures in current standard? Yeah, I don't think so. I think that was just an Ixalan block thing. I've lost so much already. No one knows the wilds like I do. I can play Moldratha and then uh, Neoform Moldratha away to find Agent of Treachery. Oh, or I can just draw Agent of Treachery. All right, well, that's cool. If I had one more blue source, I could have neoformed away Risen Reef to, to get Spark Double. I didn't play a land, so I'll decline. But then Spark Double could copy Agent of Treachery to steal their Risen Reef, or... <clears throat> I could copy Vivian. Tomorrow, we're doing Thero stuff tomorrow. Deck has an Elder Spell on it. Who would have known? This 
still don't have more blue mana. So I can't agent plus neoform right now. This should give me more blue mana. It's close. Um. I could take that Lotus Field. So I could spark double like Agent of Treachery and Steel more things, but the problem with that is I'll have too much of their stuff and I'm going to draw like nine cards, and I, I don't know, I feel like that's kind of too much. I feel like that's too much. Get out of my way. I'm burning up here. Let's make some more room to fight in. I... Hmm. How do we want to do this? Start with you. Things are just going to mill me out too much. Wait, what? I can't get this? Oh, because I don't have two blue? Oh, man. Ugh. Messed it up. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to lose this. You know, I'm not sure what I, what I need to protect against. I wouldn't think they would have, like, a sweeper. I don't have, um, you know, Plague Mares is in, is in my sideboard.
steal all this stuff. No, I should have taken Risen Reef and then sacked Risen Reef and grabbed Chupacabra. It's fine. I basically don't really want Risen Reef on my side. I'm just worried, you know, I gotta kill them before my library goes away. It's kind of weird, but I think I'm just going to sacrifice Agent of Treachery. Oh, right, I have Mirror Image. Okay, no, Mirror Image is in the, in the graveyard. I'm just going to sacrifice Agent of Treachery, even though there's nothing for me to get, just so I don't draw another three cards. I'm not expecting them to have a Wrath, but... I mean, that, that's what they would... Like, if they just play a Wrath, it would be, like... It would be surprising. They have an eight drop. They do. Andre's forerunners. Kill all the stuff. Gotta kill all the stuff. Of course, I could have played your rock first and gotten double choops. All right, so definitely need Plague Mare. Choop looked good. A hostage Taker looks pretty good um i don't think i really want noxious grasp i think i just want to do all of the creature stuff we'll get rid of exclusion mage and kind of want to just get rid of cavalier of thorns i feel like cavalier of thorns may mill my i may get milled out But it does help ramp and get to like the late game with having lots of mana. Which is always important. Should be a good Fauna Shaman matchup. I don't really know what I want to take out though. I think it's maybe the last Cavalier or the Find or the Immortal Sun. I feel like keeping the Immortal Sun could be kind of good, though. And I may need to cast Finality. It does ramp. Hmm. Oh, I'll just get rid of that. It's like a good Fauna Shaman matchup, though. I hear Hawkeye underneath me somewhere. He's right underneath my feet. Yeah, he is. Yeah, but it's Felton. It's like he's hiding. Yeah, okay. You haven't played in like six years. Um, try... Alright, so tomorrow... We have a brand new set coming out tomorrow, but... What I'd recommend doing if you're, you know, just kind of basically just getting back into magic and 
may need a little bit of help. Check out that article series. Uh, that level one full course, it has, uh, it has just a ton of really good articles just all about magic and everything. And yeah, deck building and is a part of that. And hopefully you find some some good stuff there that that helps you out. Besides that, um, yeah, you're welcome. Besides that, as far as just regular deck list goes, um, I use MTG Goldfish a lot. I think I have a command for that. There we go. And maybe... Uh, so yeah, I, I use MTG Goldfish for just kind of uh, checking out like the like the tier one decks and stuff like that. So that could be a, a good resource to look at for decks as well. Yeah, um, it's the level one full course on the Wizards website. It was written four years ago, but it's still a lot of very good content. Even though, like, the, the cards aren't new, per se. Uh, I've seen squirrels hit harder. I think there may be a link to the level one full course here on Arena. If you go to, like, the info, go to, like, the last page of, like, more information or whatever. Or help. Like, whatever that tab's called. You can't stop nature. Sunbird's Invocation is sweet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <clears throat> So I could go your rock, spark double your rock. No, it's just too good of target for them, for their agent of treachery. Yeah, no problem, Jalen. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to help. Dusty! Getting that resub in. Nine awesome months. Thank you so much there, Dusty. So yeah, Pirate's Pillage. Get a free Risen Reef. Now Scourger. This is just awesome turn for my opponent. Cool stuff that they're doing here. Sunbird's Invocation. See, this is good magic here. Looks like we're going to get outclassed this game, but this is some good magic. They get another free Risen Reef. Or Pirate's Pillage. They get to choose. Yeah, definitely taking Risen Reef. That is crazy. Pirate's Pillage, is, that's a cool card here that I would have never really thought of for this Teamer Elemental deck. All right, Leyline is just unnecessary, but the Pirate's Pillage is cool. Get that extra mana, because that's this deck wants to ramp pretty hard. That's a, that's a cool card. I wonder why they got the Lotus Field. I wonder if they have Kiora <clears throat> to untap it. Ooh. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need ten mana to go hostage take their Risen Reef and then Plague Mare. I have six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine, so I cannot do that. Unless the Risen Reef would hit a land, but that's risky.
Oh gosh, that does not take very much of their mana at all. Repeated reverberation? I thought that was going to basically tap him out, but I forgot about the Lotus Field. Don't gain haste, though. Oh, they hit the healer of the glade. Oh, that's a great hit for them. That's a great hit. Back up to 14. Yeah, some birds is sweet. Their deck's really cool. May need to play like some negates. Looks like I need to play some negates. Oh man, they're gonna review. They're gonna repeat it. I mean, I'm gonna let them do this. This, I mean, this is probably over. But all right, they whiffed there. They get to. They were repeated reverberation. A repeated reverberation. So then they get to neoform. So they just neoform too many times. Like they get to neoform all the times. So many neoforms. Oh, don't tell me you're just going to waste it. You're just not going to use Neoforms anymore? No. They don't have like a two drop to, Neo to Healer the Glade into? They're out? They had so much potential. Wait, what? Wait, do you, with the copies, do you not get to sacrifice creatures, maybe? Maybe you're just not allowed with the copies. I don't know how it works. Oh, no, but opponent, you were gonna win. Sad finish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bone deck was was pretty cool. It had it was pretty crazy. It had like so much, so much stuff going on and everything. It was really cool. Okay. Um. Let's play. Let's play one more. Let's play. Even though that's been an hour forty-five minutes. Um. No. No. I'm gonna stop it at an hour forty-five minutes for this video. I know we only just did three matches, but I want to. I'm gonna go take care of Hawkeye. Let's see if he needs like food or, or water. You know, all that kind of stuff. Um. And go. And go take care of him. So yeah. Nor. You know, an hour forty-five minutes is still a good long video we did just get to play the three matches played some very 
long matches with this deck. But you got to do we got to see a bunch of really cool stuff that we can do with Neoform and Vanifar going and finding different cards. And then we have like our spark doubles and mirror image that you know you could go find those to copy different cards. Lots of different options all the time. It was definitely a fun deck to play. It definitely was. Um I think the control matchup could use a little bit more in the sideboard for when you think, if you look at the sideboard, we got three Legion Zen, three Grasp, um, the Plague Mare, the, Ch the Chupacabra, the Hostage Takers, all those are against creatures. So that's a whole lot of stuff. Um, and so like, even though like, like the, like for example, like Arena is for control, but playing those games out, we all we do is just draw lots and lots of cards, but we don't really actually kill the opponent and that's kind of like a problem that we have against control is killing the opponent before we mill out. So probably need some cards in the sideboard that kill the opponent. Probably need some of those. All right. All right, but yeah, tomorrow we're going to have um, Theros Beyond Death Standards. We'll have that for the first time tomorrow. So, yeah, so I'll see you all tomorrow, 3 o'clock Eastern, same, same time as always for some Theros. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, you don't have to do hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. What do you want to see in Theros? Uh, let me know. All right. Uh, but that's it here for Soul Tide Treachery. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.